Hi, I'm George Pelicanus, coming to you from Washington, D.C. My new novel is called The Turnaround. It's based on a violent racial incident that occurred in this town about 30 years ago and what happens to kids when they grow up and they have to deal with the, uh, with the modern world. I hope you enjoy it. I um, kind of haunt the libraries and the newspaper morgues and that kind of thing, looking for inspiration and actually something that makes me angry or passionate. With the turnaround, um, it comes from a, uh, an event that happened that I remembered from my youth, which was a racial um, kind of uh, conflict where these white guys drove into a black neighborhood and they, uh, they screamed some racial profanities and threw some firecrackers out the window. But what they didn't know is when they got in there that they couldn't get out into that neighborhood. It was a dead end. And so when they turned around and came back out, their, plot, uh, um, their um, path was blocked. And uh, one of the boys was shot and killed. The other one was beaten up and the third kid escaped. And the, where I take that and put it into a book is, the main question I had is what happened to those kids? You know, what happens to them as men when they grow up and how do they get past it and um, in this new world that we have? And I wanted to also write about the war and people coming back from the war. So I took one of those characters and made them a physical therapist at Walter Reed Army Medical Hospital, which is right near my house in DC. And I went there and I visited with the soldiers and, and because it plays into the greater theme of, of healing, you know, um, of, um, um, you know, how do we make ourselves whole again in this world with all kinds of conflicts, whether it's racial or, or this, the, the way the country is divided right now over this war, um, how are we going to go forward together? And that was the idea for the book. It, you know, it actually, a lot of the book is the most autobiographical um, uh, piece I've ever done. And not because I was involved in that incident, but I did grow up around there and I knew kids like that um, on both sides of the equation. I grew up in this blue collar sort of atmosphere of, um, right over the DC line. And there was a lot of racial tension and that sort of thing. And um, But the thing about the the restaurant, the coffee shop, was very much out of my life. My dad had a place just a couple blocks from where we are today. And um, he got sick, and I dropped out of school for a while to run the business. And I might have stayed there the way uh, uh, the character does in the book and made that my life, but um, I didn't. I became a writer. And all that stuff is, is very much right out of my life, and I think it, the, the detail of it comes through. What you're trying to do is leave a record of the time that you uh, wrote the book in. So uh, if somebody was to pick this book up in 100 years, they would accurately see the mood of the country in 2007 or 2008 in Washington. And that's what I'm trying to do is leave a record. Well, with The Wire, I went to a city that I was unfamiliar with, Baltimore. And I worked there for five years, um, half the year. And I was uh, allowed entry into their police world. They, they gave me full access. I would go into the, I would go into the, uh, the unit and they'd say, just hand me a vest, a Kevlar vest, and they'd say, let's go. And we'd go out on um, undercover drug deal, bus and that sort of thing. But more importantly than that, I was shooting in the neighborhoods that we, um, that we film in. And these are places that most, um, uh, you know, the, the average citizen wouldn't go into, but I had access to that too, and I got to know those people. And it was, so it was all sides of it. It was a panoramic um, uh, influence in education. And I took that in, in um, most obviously my book, Drama City, which was really an extension of what I was doing on the wire at the time. And then with the Night Gardener, it was the homicide uh, division. I got in with the, them. And, um, but what I try to do is I compartmentalize everything. And when I'm not when I'm not working on a television show, I kind of lock myself in the house for the other half of the year, and I write a book. And that's a really different experience because you are, um, it's, a, it's kind of a lonely, um, secluded experience. You're just, you're in a room by yourself. You're not being social with anybody, even with my family. And um, when you're on a movie set, and especially if you're producing a show like I was, you're really dealing with about 200 people every day make a lot of decisions, a lot of social interactions. And so I like both of those things. I see myself moving more in the direction of um, novels that have crime elements in them rather than crime, straight crime novels. 
and just because I'm trying to keep myself interested. And, and I think um, as I've sort of broadened into the areas of family and, and uh, things like that, relationships between people, it's, it's made my work a little bit stronger. And I'm going to keep going in that direction.